several levels. Then the last level is a sentence. The last level is the highest unit. So this is a level. But before talking about uh, the boy threw the ball, the boy threw the ball, and his friend caught it. So these they are two friends. They are two clauses here, which we bound them together with coordinate or subcoordinator, which is and. So and we use and so to join two sentences or two thoughts. And okay, and. Then uh, the boy who the boy who was wearing the green shirt threw the ball. And this is two clothes. They are two clothes in one sentence. In one sentence, I could say the boy threw the ball. And this is depend independent sentence. This is what an independent sentence. And the dependent sentence, as we said earlier, the dependent sentence is who was wearing the green shirt. Who was wearing? And it's senseless. It doesn't give a meaning. It doesn't give full meaning. It doesn't give a full thought. So that's why we said this is dependent sentence because it cannot stand alone. So it depends on others. It depends on other sentence. Okay? Uh, what is a clause? A clause is a single idea. Single idea expressed by at least two elements, the subject and the verb. We spoke about SVO. SVO, subject, verb, object, subject, verb, object, or SVC, SVC, subject, verb, complement, subject, verb, complement, or we call it subject, verb, subject, complement, or subject, verb, prepositional, or subject, verb, as verbial sentence. All this, you have to know them and we expose to them. So, for example, here, look at this example, uh, subject, verb, and sometimes there is a third element, which is the complement. For example, the subject is the actor performing the action, the doer, the actor. Okay? This is what? The actor. The verb is an action being formed and the complement is the target of the action. Subject verb, complement. For example, the boy threw the ball. The boy threw the ball. S, V, C. S, V, C. And so forth. This is the word gloves. We spoke about it. Uh, subject verb, complement. And here expanding the clause, you can expand the clause for a while. Uh, before 10, 10 or half an hour, we spoke about adverbs and adjectives. Adverb as well as adjective. What are they? For example, uh, adjectives are words that describe nouns, that describe, I say here, modify. An adjective is a word that modifies a noun, a pronoun, etc. But they say describe. And the describe as same as modify. It makes modification. Okay? Uh, for example, the tall boy threw the orange ball. So, tall and orange are both of them, they are described, which they are modifying the what? They are modifying boy as well as ball. Okay? Uh, let us shift from adjective to adverb. Adverb are words that describe verbs. Adverb describe what? Describe verbs, adjective or other adverb. For example, the boy quickly threw the ball. The boy quickly threw the ball. Okay? And we are talking about the placement or the place of an adverb. It can be at the beginning, in the middle, at last, in the end. Okay? For example, fortunately or unfortunately, this is the last day. Fortunately or unfortunately, this is the last lunch. It's going to be held here. Or Today, today, I eventually or I fortunately like to welcome you or like to farewell you. Or today I'm going to farewell you eventually. I mean fortunately or unfortunately. So you can put it in the end, at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end. This is the placement of the what? Generally I would like to talk about the or I would generally like to talk about the or I would like to talk about adverb and verbs generally. You got the point? You got the idea? The point is that there is no certain place, okay, or fixed place for adverbs to be put. Okay? You can put it at the beginning, in the middle, at last. In the end. So uh, the boy to make this below the ball. And here there is a question, assume itself. There is a question that we can ask. How the boy slew the ball? How the boy? So when you are asking about how, that means you are going to say correctly. That's right? 
So this is the adverbs of all. Uh, this is very simple. Then you can talk about simple sentence as we spoke there. The, the, the boy threw the ball. Kambao sentence like this. Uh, yes, uh, is it composed. It's composed of two or more clauses. The Kambao sentence, not the simple sentence. The Kambao sentence because the combination between two sentences or the combination of two sentences. For example, uh, yes, there are two common ways to join two sentences. Use semicolon, semi. It's not semi. Semi, semicolon, semi-final, semi-circle, not semi. Huh? Semi. Yes. Or use a comma and coordinating conjunction for and nor but or yet so. For example, the boy threw the ball. Semicolon. His friend caught it. His friend caught it. Okay. This is a complex sentence. Is a simple sentence where one or more clauses have been inserted. And this hierarchy, we've been talking about the extension to insert something. Okay, for example, if you are writing here on the, uh, the uh, word processing or you would like to write anything, then you would like to insert something. Okay, the insertion or the entering. 